Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today here with our NFL plays. So, uh, yesterday, coming off a winning day, we had Georgia Tech plus 19 uh, outright winners. It have been cool to get on the money line, but wasn't that gutsy. Uh, outright winners, um, plus 19. Florida, South Carolina got a loss there. Uh, man, that was a... If you guys watch that game, like, terrible officiating. Like, terrible. I'm not just saying that because we bet on South Carolina, but just terrible officiating in that game. Anyways, um, we had Ball State. Uh, we had them um, a split, so we had money line, and we had the minus three. Absolutely crushed Toledo. Uh, we had Duke. Um... I really like the Duke pick, but Duke just could never really get it going in this game. And kudos to Virginia. They they played uh, played a really good game. And we had uh, Georgia State. Uh, plus four and a half. They ended up being outright winners. So uh, all in all, uh, good day. And hopefully we can follow it up in the NFL. So um, good news, bad news. Bad news is I, I said... Yesterday, if we got to 50 likes, I was going to give my whole card. We didn't get to 50 likes, so I want to be a man of my word. Not going to give my whole card. But the good news for you guys is um, I'm going to give you three plays, and my entire card is four plays. So um, I'm giving you my three best. So it's pretty close. There's There was not um, your typical amount of value out there. Like There was a lot of plays for football that – um, you'd have three or four things that look really good about a game and then something looked like really bad. So, you know, like I, I was close on, on Buffalo. I, I think there's, you know, a lot of reasons why Buffalo um, is going to just put up a ton of points tomorrow against Miami. I don't think Miami's going to have a lot to stop them, but I couldn't do that pick. I'm not even, I'm not taking that pick myself. Uh, at the end of the day, um, there was just too much information on the other side and, I was finding that with a lot of games, but I do have I have three solid picks for you guys. Uh, so first off, guys, um, we have uh, L.A. and Atlanta, L.A. Rams and Atlanta. So um, in this game, um, right now Atlanta is getting twenty two percent of the bets and twenty five percent of the money. So there there has been sh uh, sharp plays and steam play on both sides of this game, but there's been some reverse line moves. Um, on the Atlanta side and we, we do like that we like seeing that and um, typically it's a good sign when Vegas is stubborn with the lines and won't move the lines um, so we really like seeing that uh, obviously there's a little bit more in terms of sharp plays on the uh, on Atlanta having 25% of the money and only 22% of the bets um, just going to uh, throw one of the indicators we got guys so week six or later and this this is this is how Vegas really shines, like how they make a lot of money when they make adjustments. So, you know, we're past, you know, the, the beginning of the season. Beginning of the season is behind us. And as we start to get later on, so, you know, week six and later, um, teams, and you know what, th this is applicable potentially earlier. Like you could use this in week five as well. But uh, I'm, I'm saying like, you know, th this is like static from week six on. Week six. Teams that have covered less than 30% of the time, okay? So teams that have failed to cover the spread most of the games, they're covering less than 30% of the time. When they're playing against teams that have covered over 50%, which is the case in this game, that team that's failed to cover uh, more times, the, the team that's only covered 30%, uh, is 165 and 103 for 61.6%. That right there, guys, is what I'm always talking about. Vegas makes adjustments, okay? So here we have, you know, LA Rams that have done really, really well, cover the spread, and Atlanta has not. I think Atlanta's only covered the spread 16% of the time. Like, I, mean, I think one game. Um, so here we have them setting the line to try and get money on the Rams. And they've done that. They've managed to get 75% of money on the Rams. But historically, guys... When we have this, Vegas is getting money directed on the wrong side because they know that 61.6% of the time, Atlanta is going to cover this game. Now, when you go one step further and you take that teams that uh, you have Atlanta, so Atlanta is covered less than 30% of the time. Okay, LA is covered more than 30% of the time. When you add on to that, 
that Atlanta is getting less than 30% of the bets on this game. Now they're now the cover record is 60 and 35 for 66 percent. Okay, that's good for 27.9 percent ROI. So our first pick, guys, Atlanta plus three. All right, so there we go, Atlanta plus three. Uh, next game, um, we got another kind of like split bet here for you guys. So um, going to be doing part of this at the at the spread that's posted, and then we're going to be buying a couple points in this game as well. So. Um, this game is Oakland and Green Bay. So the line open, depending where you take your action, at seven to seven and a half. Um, the line has dropped down to five. So Oakland now getting five points. Um, here's the thing. I'm looking at this game as being a, a close game. Okay. Right now you have Green Bay that played on Monday, so they're coming on six days rest which is significant, six days rest. And now you have Oakland, who had a bye week last week, coming in on 14 days rest, okay? When you have a team with less than seven days rest, going against a team coming off a bye week, 64.8% it covers. That's good for 25.9% ROI, guys. That's a huge number. So we're gonna be taking Oakland in this game, but here's what we're gonna do. We're again, we're going to split our bet in half, and we're going to take Oakland plus five for half our bet, and we're going to take the other half. We're going to buy a couple points, and we'll get it up to plus seven for minus 150. Okay, so for that bet, let's make them beat us by two scores. I like the plus five, guys, but we're going to take half our bet. We're going to Oak, or Oakland plus seven at minus 150. If your sports book doesn't allow you to buy points, why are you with them? All right, but in all honesty, if it doesn't allow you to buy the points, um, I'm okay at the plus five. I, I like the pick, but I would I do want if if you're able to do this, let's split up our pick, guys. So half our bet again. It's not two bets; it's half our bet plus five on Oakland. The other half of the bet is plus seven minus one fifty. Green Bay on short rest. Oakland by week fourteen days between games. They're hungry. They're ready to go. They've been waiting for this game. And I like Oakland this game. All right. So um, last game for you guys, we have Baltimore and Seattle. So Baltimore and Seattle, um, right now you're getting, so th this is going to be a total play. So the total right now has been fluctuating um, anywhere from, it opened at 50 and a half. It's dropped down to 49, but it has fluctuated a little bit. So right now um, we like the under. Okay, we're going to be taking uh, under 49 in this game. On paper, this is one of those games, you know, two really good offenses. It looks like it's going to be a slugfest, and the public has adapted to that. So right now, only 31% of the bets are on the under in this game, but 38% of the money. So you get a 7% 7, 7 difference between the 31% of the bets and the 38% of the money. So we like that. Uh, multiple steam plays on the under. So look look at this psychologically, okay? So Vegas is getting um, Vegas getting a, a ton of money on the over, right? A ton of money on the over. Um, what would they naturally do to counteract that? They would raise the line. So it started open at 50 and a half, and that line should have gone to 51 and a half, 52 probably. Should probably be sitting at, at 52. But Vegas is not scared of the public and their money. What they're scared of is the steam plays that have come on this, and there's also uh, a number of reverse line moves that have come in on this game. So Vegas, even though only 38% of that money is bet on the under, they pulled this line down a point and a half, from 50 and a half down to 49. So ask yourself why. Why did Vegas do that? One reason, guys, they want more money on the over, and we're not going to give it to them. We're taking the under in this game, guys, so we're going under 49. So, just to recap for you guys, we have Atlanta plus three. Um, Atlanta has been crap at covering this year. The Rams have been good. Um, Vegas makes those adjustments, guys. Look for Atlanta to cover plus three in this game. The second play, again, we have Oakland. We're splitting our bet. We're taking Oakland plus five, and then we're taking, we're buying two points. We're taking Oakland plus seven 
minus 150 and make them beat us by two point or two uh, two possessions in that game. Um, and the last one, guys, is we have Baltimore, Seattle. We are taking under 49. Um, Vegas, Vegas wants money on the over, guys. We like the under. Let's go against the public on this one and uh, go with the sharps. But again, multiple steam plays and reverse line moves. We're taking the under 49. So that's it for today, guys. Um, uh, I don't. Uh, I doubt very much that I'll have anything else. I, I again check back. I might. I might have something just depending on if there's line movement on the night game. But uh, for now, um, this looks like it'll be it. But again, as always, guys, uh, if you could leave a like, subscribe, and hit the little bell notification thing down there, it'll alert you when I post videos. So you know that way, if if I do post something. Um, you know, an hour and a half or two hours for game time, you'll get a notification of that and uh, you won't miss anything. So uh, that's it for today, guys. Hopefully we can uh, make it, uh, keep the winning streak going. And um, yeah, so as always, guys, have a very lucky day.